We feeling? Yeah, right. So, come look at the time again. And now, looking up into the into the, uh, the saucepan bit, and you can see we've got our first extraction coming through. So this is the fun stuff. Uh, because we have a lot of pressure going on there, we're getting a really nice extraction. So I'll explain what's going on in here. You've got all your water in down there. It is on full power, and it's boiling and boiling, getting hotter and hotter and hotter. It forces its way up some pipes inside here, and then hits the heavily compacted coffee. And what it's doing, it builds up a pressure in behind that uh, comp compacted coffee, and it is now extracting and forcing its way through the coffee. It is, this is an interesting point now, there's a few little things you need on the side, which they don't tell you, or they don't give you in the booklet when you buy anything. This is what I call an overflow cup. It's just an old tin cup. Anything, you wouldn't want to use a plastic one, it gets quite hot in here. Because what we're actually going to do, we're actually going to take out this initial first extraction of the coffee, because we actually don't want a weak coffee, we want that strong espresso coming through. So if you look in the top here, you can see that we're getting a little bit of a crema. Some days, others that more than others, you get a bit more, more crema. And around this point, I'm actually going to take the main uh, saucepan thing out and put that little overflow catcher in there. Because that's about the right amount of coffee for two people, good extraction. So next thing, if you listen, it's getting pretty powerful in there. It's getting a lot of extraction. It will get to the top thing in the moment. If you look here at, at the steam wand, come in really close to the steam wand, you can see there's a little bit of steam coming off it. Also, I haven't washed it. I didn't wipe it last time I used it. So what's actually happening there inside this bit up here, uh, some little washers and bits and pieces. Every four or five years, you can get a kit and replace those. Anyway, so this is my jug. Uh, it's full cream milk. Full cream milk makes a better coffee than light milk and anything else. And you can hear it pretty much at its peak now of extraction. So the, I know the pressure inside here is at full power. If you come inside and have a look. Now, we've got a good, good head of steam up at the moment. And you, if you look, pull back a little bit, you'll see my hand underneath. Uh, this is the same for any coffee, um, any espresso machine. The way I tend to do, unless you've got a little thermometer thing, is I tend to uh, warm the milk up, froth the milk up, until the point that I can't hold it any further with a bare hand underneath, it's getting close, and then do it for another 10 seconds afterwards. Now at this stage, I want to kind of start making some nice bubbles at the top. So that's about, I can't hold it anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take that off there. Now you should of course wipe that now, but I always forget to do that bit. You can turn the power off because we now have our coffee and our milk. Stay there. And I'm gonna pour us. I like drinking coffee in a glass. We'll come around to the front there and go down low. And see, I just did that by eye, but that's just about the right amount of coffee. And with your milk, come up high, look at the milk. What you want is you want to get rid of all your bubbles and you want little fine froth, like cream or paint. Someone once said it's meant to be, meant to be like paint. And then you pour it in. even of course and you can go for more froth or less froth that's not too bad and now checking in at the time you can see it's almost exactly 11 minutes to make a lovely cup of coffee hope you enjoy that demonstration